Good day folks, I'd like to show you a concept, a very simple concept of amplification and resonance. How you can actually get a net gain here and this is a very simple method which may be very suitable for beginners if you don't want to mess around with feedback and high voltage and back EMF and that sort of thing. This is basically something a high school student can do and demonstrate and it's very simple. So what we have here is a resonant coil that's tuned to work at around 500k, okay? And we have our generator down here. So it's triggered by the power here, which I feed from the USB, which is 5 volts DC, okay? Now what's that going to do is it triggers a field, and the resonant coil will resonate with this field because it's tuned and create amplified amplitudes of its own because of the resonance and frequency. And what that happens is it will obviously be distant from the coil because it's enclosed and there's a distant, but that doesn't matter because the resonance and the amplification makes up for that. Now what happens is if we put up this LED here, which is a simple LED on a one-wire loop, and we induce this field here and turn the LED on, the load that turns the LED on comes from the amplified amplitudes from this coil here from the amplification and resonance therefore not stressing the original input load because it's a different system of energy that it's tapping to by doing it this way it's a, it creates its own magnetic field and amplification thanks to resonance and just to show you a quick example here because people would like asked me to show more examples so this is one I could really show that really works and is easy to see so I'm going to put the coil down now and I got it connected to the voltmeter to show you so we're going to turn this on the um, AC here 200 volts AC now here's the LED it's not light right now because I'm not uh, running it so we're going to give the power here so I'm just going to give it the power real quick Sorry about that. It's just I got one hand to work with. Okay, so now it's powered. So you don't notice anything at first here. But we're going to take the LED and we're going to place it close and look what by induction is going to happen. See, all of a sudden, and there's still a lot of space here. I'll show you. There's about six, seven inches of space. And this LED is very bright, okay? Now what's going to happen is this LED is being powered from the increased amplitudes from the um, resonance. So this light is not using the original load. So to show you that I'm going to take the big coil out of the way here. If I can hold the camera at the same time this is going to be a bit tricky here. I would almost have to put it on a stand. Hold on. I'll try something. Okay. See what happens when I remove the coil? When I put the coil back, the light comes on. I remove the coil. That's the resonance and amplification. How much are we getting? Here's the meter. Depending on positioning, of course, 15, 16. That's a great amplification with the amplitude on its own so now if you want to take advantage of this extra energy which is obvious instead of having this we use a third loop which I build here for example like this that would induce from the increased amplitudes and I've got a wire here which makes it ready so I could rectify that and charge batteries. I've done experiments with this in the past because I wanted to charge big batteries with very little input current and take advantage of the amplification of the amplitudes of the um, resonant. So this is a way of doing it and nothing stops you from taking this, charging a larger set of batteries and looping it back into the trigger if you know what I'm saying because they're isolated you can do that and this is a way that an easy way where the system itself sustain so I hope you enjoyed the explanation